Welcome to Men Reading the Bible. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. It is reading number 85. We are in 1 Kings, actually finishing up 1 Kings, chapters 21 and 22, uh, the end of the book. And uh, today's pray day. I've got three things to pray about. First, um, I've got two, one for myself, one for us, and then a prayer of thanksgiving. So the first one is I ask, um, just been praying and, and working on the idea of starting a, a business slash ministry and um, <clears throat> uh, wanted to do coaching online. And I've been practice, I've been training in coaching and I'm getting training right now in coaching. And it's just a great transition from my background in teaching and, and in pastoring um, to go into coaching. And, uh, but I uh, am busy. I, I, as you guys know, I'm working a full-time job up in Santa Fe, live in Albuquerque, and I've got a two-hour commute. I leave uh, the house at 6 a.m. and get to the front door at, at 8 a.m. and then come back home. And uh, I'm 57 and I don't have the energy at night that I used to have and trying to stay healthy and trying to stay focused and just ask for your prayers, for energy, for clarity, um, all of that. So I want to make sure I'm getting the recording done correctly here. Yep. Then the second thing is just for our project that uh, I will uh, and all of us will read for understanding that, you know, we can listen to the dates. We can listen. I don't say much about the dates, but we can listen to the characters and what their purposes are and what their, um, why they're doing what they're doing and why God does what he does. I'm a why person. I like to know why. And, um, and that's my second prayer is that we would, um, um, be able to read through this, but also to understand it in, in the way that we need the Holy spirit knows exactly what, what our lives need. And uh, that's my second prayer. And the third prayer is that just thanks to all of you. Uh, you know, we have a core group of three to five of us that interact regularly and then some that check in from time to time. And uh, I just want to say thanks. It's been a it's been a real uh, great accountability accountability for me. And I'm this is I I'd say the third time that I personally read through the Bible cover to cover like this. I've read some books of the Bible hundreds of times, some passages thousands of times, but as far as going from first page of Genesis to the last page of Revelation in order, uh, this is my third time. And it's like, I've never done it before. Just, uh, just learning more about it. And, um, and I always say thanks to you guys. Uh, there's, you know, it's, just us here. I don't know that anybody else is ever really going to listen much to this. Um, but Chad, to see your your likes coming on uh, first thing in the morning, Aaron and Casey, it's just um, it's just uh, those those likes or those thumbs ups, and sometimes a prayer request or a comment. It's just been really great for me, and I just want to say thanks. So let's let's pray, and I I hope you guys have a great day, dear Father. Pray right now for, uh, I just ask a prayer request for this business idea, whether it's business for profit or a ministry nonprofit, um, or even a church, Lord, I, I need clarity and I need energy. And most of all, Lord, I want to know your will. And um, you're the perfect dad, dear father. And uh, I know there are times where you you pick up the hammer and the nail and you you hold our hands and you show us exactly how to how to drive things together. Um, but sometimes you say, "I've trained you. Now go make a decision." And so, Lord, I pray that um, <clears throat> I just ask for prayer from from each one of us listening right now that uh, I would I would be able to know um, not just what but how and that that means a step-by-step focus right now is what I need the most. So I ask, I ask prayer requests for that. And then uh, number two is that for each of us, wherever we are, um, Holy Spirit, dear Holy Spirit, um, you know exactly where each one of us are personally. You know our past, the families that we came from, how we were raised. Um, you know our positions uh, in church, in work, and in our families right now. Some of us are husbands. Some of us are single. 
and uh, you know us well, and we pray to you to please bring your word to life for us. It takes discipline to uh, to uh, to read like this, but we know it takes. Uh, we got to like it. We got to understand it. We got to be able to use it, um, or it's just going to be what's the point. And so uh, I pray that uh, we would have understanding. And then, Lord, I want to say thank you for um, each of the regulars on the group and, and each of the larger group. And um, I pray that you would just bless their ministries wherever we are. Um, where we go to work, it's ministry. I think of, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say your names right now. I, I don't want to do that. Um, but, you know, it's who we are. And I know your hearts as you go to work. And I know you're there to serve uh, those around you. And I know you're there to, to witness for the Lord, to be a, um, to be a rock of faithfulness for your family and your church and, uh, and to be steady there on the job and to, um, to serve well and to bless others. And, um, I pray dear father that you would bless each one of us in that way. And, and I just say, thank you for this group and, um, the encouragement that it's been to me, and I pray it is for for the rest. And so, Lord, we lift these things up in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, uh, share them. And uh, just uh, appreciate you so much. And uh, we'll be hitting it again on number 86, 2 Kings. So have a good one.